The following presentation of the Mass is made possible by your generous support of the Catholic TV Network. The Catholic TV Network welcomes and invites you to celebrate the sacred mysteries, listen to God's Word, and in the Holy Eucharist, proclaim the victory of Jesus over death until He comes in glory. The Lord let his people in hope while the sea engulfed their foes. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Friends, once again, a very happy Easter to all of you. My name is Father Bobby LeBlanc. I'm the parochial vicar of St. Mary of the Assumption Parish in Brookline. It's great to be with you on this Friday in the octave of Easter. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal Mystery, in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas, the high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly class. They brought, to, they brought them into their presence and questioned them, by what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know 
that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims God's handiwork. Day pours out to the world today. Night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their their message goes out through all the earth. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus revealed himself again to, the, to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, we also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came into the boat, for they were not far from the shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I absolutely love the resurrection encounters that we hear about within the octave of Easter. 
from Mary Magdalene at the tomb to the two disciples on the road to Emmaus to our Lord's appearance at the Sea of Galilee in today's gospel. These are great stories to meditate upon and to do some imaginative prayer with. I particularly, particularly love today's gospel because it brings me right back to my pilgrimage to the Holy Land about a year ago and the stunning beauty of the Sea of Galilee and all of the land surrounding it. I also love St. Peter because he's so relatable. He's so human with his ups and downs, his doubts, his fears, and his struggles. So I invite you to consider the following scene. Do a little bit of imaginative prayer with me. Imagine, if you will, you are the weary figure of Peter, a seasoned fisherman casting your nets into the waters in the dim light of dawn out on the Sea of Galilee. Your heart is heavy with the weight of recent events, the crucifixion of your savior, savior, your own denial of him three times, failing to go to the cross with him. You have fears and doubts about what is to come next, and all you can do is what is familiar, what you know how to do, and that is to go fishing. Alongside you on the boat are your fellow disciples, who are also grappling with their own uncertainties, returning to the familiar comfort of their former livelihood. You fish all night with them, remembering the moments of being with Jesus in that same boat not so long ago, even though it seems like ages. You recall the time you walked on the water for but a brief moment before sinking, and Jesus pulled you out of the waves. You remember the time when you were fearful of the storm, afraid of capsizing before he calmed the winds and the sea. Now, despite your best efforts, you catch nothing. You are tired and frustrated, but it's in this moment of exhaustion that the risen Lord Jesus appears on the seashore. At first, you fail to recognize him, but then he instructs you to cast your nets on the other side of the boat. You do as you are told, just as you have done before, and you experience a miraculous catch of fish, an abundance of fish. Here, in this simple act of obedience, you witness once again the profound power of faith and trust. You recognize that it is the Lord, and you immediately want to be with him, so you don't hesitate. You jump out of the boat in order to reach him first. Despite your moments of doubt, and denial, your devotion to Jesus remains. You swim as fast as you can, and when you make it to shore, you embrace the Lord, your dear friend. Everyone else reaches the seashore. You gather around the charcoal fire, sharing in a meal provided by the hands of your resurrected Lord. My friends, I encourage you to enter into these beautiful and powerful encounters that the disciples had with Jesus after the resurrection. Bring your own doubts and fears with you. Bring your own lack of understanding. Bring your love and devotion that you have for Jesus. Allow yourself to encounter him. Invite him to deepen your faith. Invite him to heal your woundedness. Invite him to give you the zeal and courage to evangelize and to be his witnesses in your own life. My brothers and sisters, there is such great power in the resurrected Christ. Enter deeply into these encounters, into these mysteries, and be transformed as St. Peter was. Be transformed as all of his disciples were. In prayer, draw near to the resurrected Christ in these Easter days and ask him to deepen your faith and your love for him. Dear brothers and sisters, filled with paschal joy, let us more earnestly pray to God that he who graciously listened to the prayers and supplications of his beloved Son 
may now be pleased to look upon us in our lowliness. That we might not reject the vulnerable or the outsider in our midst, but recognize the face of Christ in the stranger, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those struggling with hunger and malnutrition might receive the resources they need to care for themselves and their families, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are persecuted for their faith might find safety and refuge, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have begun in their faith with great zeal may persevere as they continue on their journey, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering and sick will realize that the Lord is close to them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died rejoice always at the table of the Lord, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, who know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, hear the desires of those who cry to you and receive the prayers of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and to your hands for the praise and glory of his name, Father, and Lord of all the Holy Church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray, the solemn exchange brought about by these paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Blessed is he who comes 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. We have worshiped God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord has invited us to the altar, and this great prayer has brought benefit to ourselves, the church, and the whole world. Please help the television mass to continue by sending a donation to Bishop Reed, the Catholic TV Network, P.O. Box 9196, Watertown, Massachusetts, 02471. Join us anytime on Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire or watch and contribute online at catholictv.com.